Mompreneur Studio. I am Anissa Crespo, and on this episode of She Swaps, I am talking to Dr. Cornelia from Switzerland. She's an electrical engineer and a personal energy strategist. So welcome, Dr. Cornelia. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure being at your podcast and to swap, right? Yeah, the pleasure is mine. So please tell us, um, tell us all about who you are, how you became an electrical engineer, and of course, a, a personal energy strategist, what that is, how you got into that kind of work and what you do and who you help. Oh, you start with the small questions, right? <laughs> okay, now let's uh, actually I have a very um, fun story how I got started. Because um, it started, I studied quite early, uh, even if I uh, didn't know at the time. And it was around when I was about four years old. And, wow. you know, at that time, you know, I was always so, I don't know about you, but I was kind of was so fascinated when my mom kind of used the vacuum cleaner or the mixer or uh, turned on the stove, you know, and it just, or it slipped the light and then, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, this magic happens, right? The, it cleans and it mixes and there's so much power behind. And all of a sudden, what's there behind? I really would love to know. And then and then there was this moment of moments that literally changed my life. And that was when I was out in the garden and playing. And then by accident, I found something. I have it even here. And I found this. I don't know if you see it. I it's very see. long. Yeah, it's a very long uh, nail. So wow. I thought, hey, let's check it out. What's there in this socket, right? And so, oh, no. yes, oh my God, all moms now, <laughs> great, right? But I did. I went into my room, sneaked in, and then I kind of plucked it in, and I wanted to know what's in there, right? Oh. And then uh, um, I was really lucky that like the security and everything was was working, and so the the switch, the security switch was faster in a way than me. So, but I, what I remembered was then when I came back, kind of I was lying in the middle of my room, and my mom kind of was bending over me and uh, completely worried and said, "Oh, what's going on?" And, uh, and then they were, they, you know, they got the story, and. Um, and you know the the fascinating thing for me is that I was not scared by it. I I thought, wow, this is so powerful. I really want to know how this current gets into the socket. And that's why I studied electrical engineering. I really wanted to know, right? And now I do know. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh! Well, that is literally powerful and fascinating. That's amazing. So um, you were just a child when you started that. So you just, you you continued your um, interest in that and followed it and turned it into a career? Yes, uh, actually I really studied and I, then I also, because I really loved, I'm very curious. I really, you know, did all the, the research and um, at the beginning I wanted to be a, become a scientist. So that's why I did my PhD. But then I figured out, you know, the real life is outside of academia and I want to experience more of the real life. So I'm still working in the in the energy industry in Europe. And um, uh, and and, you know, there was one thing that really kind of um, changed my my life. And this is, of course, it was this experience with this electric energy. But on the other side, I don't know, it kind of changed something in me because I, from that moment on, I literally had so much energy, right? <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> it was so kind of annoying and disturbing for my parents because I would never, ever stop, you know, would ask all these questions and with all my activities and also through all my school and studies. So it was very easy, uh, you know, because I almost never got tired. That like There was always this unlimited energy. But as a life throws your curveballs, right? Um, there, so for me, it was kind of so normal to have this energy. It was kind of part of me. But then it kind of like um, 
I really wanted to show the world I can do everything. Like I can be a perfect mom, perfect. Uh, I have a perfect family, per perfect spouse. I have my perfect manager in my job, my perfect daughter. And then I realized that I I failed, right? I couldn't manage that because it was kind of draining too much of my energy, even of my unlimited energy. And I really got very sick. And uh, that was kind of uh, the next um, big step that changed my life because I thought, you know, where's all my energy? I want to have my energy back. So I started as an engineer, always thought, you know, there is always more solutions to one problem. You just need to find them. So I started doing some research and then I, I found the solution for my for my problem. And this was in a way that I... I learned about the quantum field, right? So even Einstein was talking about it. And, you know, I know it sounds very, you know, scientific and far, far away, but actually it's real life because what uh, what the quantum science is saying that in a nutshell, everything is just energy and frequency. So in a way, it's us and, you know, our, you know, the PC, your, the beautiful stuff behind you, Everything is just a, a energy and its frequency. And as a you know, as an electric engineer, I really know what energies and frequencies are. So it was kind of my world. And I thought, really kind of, yeah, what what if if it's true that everything is just energy? How would would, would that change my life? And so I really went kind of did a lot of research on this and that kind of did this deep dive in just letting myself allow, okay, this is the world of energy and I'm part of it. So which means that every thought, every word, like whatever we are thinking, whatever we are doing, everything is just energy. And then, and that made my life so much easier because I found this working with energies, it's, yeah, it's simple, it's, it's easier. And so I started experimenting, like recharging my energy. And I, I was just looking at myself as kind of a battery. And so I recharged it. I cleaned uh, my energy and uh, I protected it because we all know these energy vampires around us, right? Yes. Uh, yes. So, and I started experimenting with it. And then, yeah, my energy came back. And then people noticed and they started asking me, How, what did you do? And so... That's how I started kind of teaching them what I did and it worked for them as well. And that's why I kind of had this journey from an electrical engineer to a personal energy strategist. Um, so for me, it's now the combination of my electric energy world and my personal energy world. And there are so many similarities between electric energy and our personal energy. Yes, I definitely believe that. Well, that is an incredible story. So, I mean, here you are outside playing one day just as a child and all of a sudden you you have this, this crazy incident that literally turned on your power switch and, and filled you <laughs> up with all of this energy. I mean, that is incredible. Um, so it's so interesting that you were saying how, you know, all of a sudden it, you know, you, you felt like you were just drained of your energy. So you had to kind of do some soul searching and a deep dive and figure some things out for yourself. And, and, you know, I'm no stranger to that. I've certainly done that. Um, we definitely don't have similar stories, but it all boils down to energy, doesn't it? Um, and it's true that there are energy vampires out there. I know for me personally, I have a very high energy. I vibrate on a high level and um, I'm not able to really even be around negative people. Like it just, um, it drains me. And I think I in turn drain them. Like I'm almost too much for them to handle sometimes because it's just <laughs> so, so opposite, I guess. I don't really know, but I'd, I'd love to explore that more. I mean, do you have any thoughts on that? Yes, they can definitely um, um, be possible. And in in a way, they kind of real energy vampires. And this can not only be people, can also be tasks. Sometimes there are some tasks that really drain our energy. And they, yeah, it's just sucks it off, right? 
and of course, yeah, I have a lot, you know, some exercises uh, by how you can protect your energy and then keep it with you. Um, and uh, on, on even setting energetic boundaries, right? Because especially for women, it's sometimes very difficult to say no because we are so, just so, so trained to, you know, do everything for everybody. And if you really kind of have these energetic boundaries around you, then there is this huge energy buffer around you. And people, you know, even when they're approaching, they feel that, you know, they don't even, they can't step closer and they can also they don't even ask so it's so much easier because you don't have to say no because the people most of the time don't even <laughs> ask would you please do that for me right so yeah, it's like they can feel your uh your force field already out there the boundary has been set and you cannot pass you shall not pass through this energy i love that so um tell us dr cornelia are you working on any projects right now um regarding the energy work no for me it's kind of it's not a project but it's a mission because what i realized you know from my own experience you know when i kind of really was um down there with no energy and like seeing in my environment you know today women especially moms right with all their obligations for you know for their kids for them for, for their job their business maybe they want to run you know and also for yeah for the household uh, aging parents in my opinion women don't even have a choice to not manage their energy and what i see is that we're all so trained to manage our time but you know time is limited time we all have these 24 hours right but what's unlimited is our energy and if you have really kind of this incredible amount of energy, you can do so much more in the same time. And it doesn't, doesn't even exhaust you because you have kind of this unlimited energy. And I think this is so important because I know so many amazing and wonderful women that want to make a difference in the world. They really want to have, have an impact. And what I've learned is making an impact, you definitely need energy otherwise it, it, it's an energy game right and the more you know about how you can manage your own energy the easier things get right and and that's what I'm kind of teaching right now to really get it out that as many women are can use these techniques because you know I'm busy myself you know I'm working in the corporate world I have my own business I have two teenage daughters a single mom and uh, many other things I'm, I'm doing and so I know yeah uh, my for me it was always very important everything that I'm teaching or developing it must be very powerful it must be short and simple and it must be usable in that moment when you need it because yeah, when you are kind of a, a mom, like with two small kids, and you need energy to really kind of don't freak out and stay calm, then you need it right now. And you don't have the time to do half an hour meditation, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. unfortunately, that's how it is. And I, I'm, I'm one of them, right? So my exercises most of the time, they don't take longer than three minutes. So you can recharge your energy like this. You can clean your energy you know, three minutes before you go to bed or while you're brushing your teeth. And so they, they are simple. You can include them in your daily routines. It's nothing extra because most of the time you don't have time for extra. Yeah, we don't. We don't have time for extras. Um, I'll speak on my own behalf as a mompreneur, very busy, four-year-old twins. Um, I wear all the hats and then some, and it's just, a lot. And yeah. And at the end of the day, it's like, I don't even know where I got my energy from. I really don't, but we just do. Right. And we do, we're always constantly caregiving for others. And we have to really focus in on trying to hone in on taking care of ourselves. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an advocate for that. I really, you know, urge women to just pause for a little bit, stop. Like you said, you don't need 30 minutes. You don't need 60 minutes. You just need a couple minutes throughout your day, especially like if somebody has um, shifted your energy into like a negative way, like 
somebody cut you off on the road or somebody, you know, you got a bad email that, you know, made your, your day upset. Like you don't have to let the ruin that you don't have to let that ruin your whole day. All you have to do is like you said, do these little exercises. It might take just a couple of minutes and you can totally rework your energy and focus it back towards something positive. So I absolutely love that. I think it's amazing. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, in a way, and it makes you so much more resilient, right? As you said, you know, you get angry because uh, somebody cuts off your way. But, you know, when you have more energy, you're also more relaxed because uh, you just don't care and you can stay friendly and, and, and calm. And I think that's what I learned or experienced the most was the most advantage that you just... Uh, yeah, you, you you shift the perspective on many things, right? Because, yeah, you know, if somebody does it to me, for me, I just say, oh, you know, maybe this person has a bad day or, you know, or is in a rush. It has nothing to do with me. So I don't take many things but not personal anymore. And that that's, makes life so much easier. Yeah, nine times out of 10, it's not personal. It's not about you. We just tend to internalize all these things that happen around us and usually have nothing to do with us. Um, so it's so important to be in tune with that. Um, yeah, great, great points. So um, if somebody wants to work with you or get some of your um, advice or extensive knowledge, because I can see that you have a ton, um, how do they find you? Yeah, of course, uh, on social media or um, so I'm on Instagram. It's Cornelia underscore energy um, on, right? Uh, underscore on. And also on, uh, I'm on LinkedIn, on Facebook, uh, even on TikTok. Um, um, I'm on my own web page. It's CorneliaCavan.com. And um, and I, they're also running my, my courses I'm, I'm offering. And, you know, the, the thing is, it's not only about recharging, you know, there are two ways in a way to have more energy. One thing is, of course, you work in that moment. So you recharge and clean and, and, and manage your energy. But what I've noticed as well is that many people are doing now mindset work. And I figured out that um, if you were, because a mindset or a thought or belief, it's just uh, energy as well. So, you know, I've done a lot of mindset work myself before. And, you know, I don't know about you or your audience, but I've learned it takes so long. And sometimes it's so hard right, to overwrite a limiting belief with somebody else, you know, something else. It takes like a month and then still, you know, and I, and I figured out, hey, that must be faster. Right. And then I figured out, yeah, it's, you know, even this limiting belief, it's just a frequency. And you can, if you remove this frequency from your energy system, then the limiting belief is, is gone. And even a step further, and that's what I really always um, try to teach is, why is this limiting belief in my la life in the first place? Or why is this trigger triggering me? And if you look behind the scenes and find out, ah, it's because of this, then you dissolve the cause of the problem. And then all these limiting beliefs and everything connected with it that goes away automatically. So for me, it's kind of, it's not about overwriting or becoming somebody else. It's more about finding the real cause, solve that, and kind of getting back to your real you. Yeah, I absolutely love that. I mean, it's so true. Like, it has taken me years to retrain my brain so that I'm not, you know, thinking in some of the ways that I was, you know, raised and taught to think mm -hmm. because I know now that that that's not, you know, it's not for me. I'll just say that, you know, there's right and wrong is so relative sometimes when it comes to our thoughts and our beliefs. But for me, um, I know I really have to put work into mindset and I've been for many years doing that. And now I'm at a point where I don't have to work at it quite as hard as I used to. Um, but I do work with women who are just getting started or, you know, maybe have never done any mindset work and it is a lot of work and the, the healing and the work doesn't really begin until you really dive into that. So to have another perspective and another outlook on it, I mean, that's incredible. I'd really 
you know, uh, love to uh, explore your website a little bit and and pick your brain a little bit further so I can kind of uh, delve into that a little bit further because that is fascinating to me. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, I'm even offering like this half an hour uh, so people, yeah, energy strategy session so people can get to know me, how I work uh, they for, uh, for free. And uh, and here, you know, you can come with one limiting belief and be eliminated within um, 10 minutes. Wow, and maybe, I love that. <laughs> and within half an hour, we can even eliminate why this belief is in your life or has been in your life. That's amazing. That's unbelievable. That is really cool. Um, I'll have to book my session. <laughs> Definitely. I would um, love to. Yeah. So um, we'll make sure the audience has all your links so that they can reach out to you and find you, book their sessions. And um, obviously, Dr. Cornelia, you are a very powerful woman, pun intended. <laughs> but um, <laughs> thank you. Thank what you. would you like to leave everyone with today? I'm sending everybody lots of, lots of energy because what I experienced with energy, with lots of energy, life is so much more fun. And that's what we all want to have, right? Yes, we do. And it sure is awesome talking to you today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, yeah, we we'll really congratulate your audience because you're such an inspiring host. Thank you for all your questions. And I really love being here. Thank you, Cornelia.